Joining now from Beijing is Victor Gao. He's a CGTN current events commentator. And, and Victor, I want to talk about boots on the ground in just a minute. But first, let's talk a little bit about Tong Bo's story. This, this fact that doctors elsewhere in the world can actually virtually talk to these uh, people who are on the front line and kind of pick their brain. This is really exciting, isn't it? Absolutely. I think in fighting against coronavirus, uh, international cooperation is absolutely necessary and absolutely important. And now, uh, more than uh, several, uh, several dozens of thousands of Chinese doctors and nurses have been fighting against coronavirus in Wuhan, in other cities, in Hubei province. And also, many, many more doctors and nurses have been fighting against coronavirus elsewhere in China. So I would say right now the Chinese doctors and nurses have probably the best expertise in dealing with this virus and their expertise and skill set can be shared with their counterparts in many other countries and this kind of international cooperation will really help mankind to fight against coronavirus and save mankind from this very vicious and very dangerous virus. And Victor, it seems like every day uh, we're reporting on, uh, you know, China taking steps to export its expertise, its talent to try and combat the virus. Uh, talk to us about Italy. We've seen these teams, supplies arriving there recently, uh, making a difference as well. Absolutely. Just allow me to make this uh, uh, in perspective. Hubei province itself is the size of Italy, for example. Back in January and February, Hubei province, with a population of about 60 million, were completely overwhelmed. The hospitals were completely running out of their resources. And therefore, it took about 20 other provinces throughout China to send about 40, uh, 43,000 doctors and nurses to the rescue mission in Wuhan. So international cooperation is absolutely right now because otherwise, look at Wuhan, look at Hubei, they will be overwhelmed. And a country like Italy, the size of Hubei, could not handle this disaster by themselves. I'm afraid the hospitals and the medical resources in Italy are exhausted. That's why China decided to help. China sent two provincial medical teams to Italy with their own equipment resources as well as testing kits. Uh, we're having some difficulty with uh, his uh, shot there. Uh, we're doing a Skype interview, but hopefully we can get it back up because we got a lot more interesting questions we'd like to pose to Victor. So hopefully we can work on that and get him back up and uh, continue the conversation. As you can see, we've reestablished our signal with uh, Victor Gower and continue the conversation. Victor, uh, China's also sent plane loads of ventilators, masks, medics to France, donated testing kits to Cambodia, also working with the World Health Organization. Kind of fold all that together uh, about this kind of worldwide effort that's going underway right now. Absolutely. China is doing a lot, contacting more than 80 countries in the world and sending out medical teams with very experienced doctors and nurses with the right skills for dealing with this coronavirus to many countries. You mentioned Italy, you mentioned Spain, for example, EU as a whole, Serbia, Czech, for example. And more recently, it's very important to note that the Chinese President Xi Jinping has been on the phone with the British Prime Minister, French President, German Chancellor, for example, Italian President, Italian Prime Minister, and many, many more. I do hope President Trump of the United States will pick up the phone, call President Xi Jinping, really treating each other equally and share their experience and ask China to help. This is not a moment of, for example, comparing whether you are stronger or weaker than me. No, this is the time for humanitarianism to prevail. China has the resources. China has the expertise. The U.S. federal government can really benefit from the Chinese experience and expertise in saving American people. This is no time for politics. This is time for humanitarianism. This is the right thing to do. And I hope China and the United States can really zoom in on helping saving American lives. This is the most critical thing I think I need to emphasize again and again. Yeah, and Victor, it's interesting because there was a headline from the New York Times earlier this week that read, the U.S. needs China's mass as acrimony grows, Beijing signaling a willingness to supply the U.S. as its outbreak spreads. Um, but, you know, there's been this increasing harsh dang language on the part of the president. He's kind of softened it in the last day or so. Um, do you think there is a chance that China can kind of help out in this situation? 
I think for China to help the United States is the right thing to do. But it takes two to tango. I would say of critical importance now is for President Trump to call President Xi Jinping of China and really treat each other as equal and really focus on saving American lives. America, in many states, for example, they need ventilators, they need uh, surgical masks, they need uh, medical masks, you, they need protective gears of all kinds, for example. And China is the largest manufacturing center of all these kind of things. And the federal government in the United States really need to give a signal so that the Chinese supplies, the Chinese medical expertise can be rushed through to many cities in the United States. And I think this is really the time for the best of our two countries, for the best of the Chinese people and the American people, stretching out and helping each other, rather than, for example, being uh, uh, quagmired in politics and geopolitics. Victor Gao joining us from Beijing. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me.